What's up, everybody? I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud, and this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. We, we got, got the a greens. very special guest today, ladies and gentlemen. The he is a comedian. Bow. He's a content creator. Bow. He's an actor, mm-hmm. bow, director, bow. producer, come on, show creator. Mm-hmm. Come on with it. Okay, and one of the funniest comics we've seen coming out of LA, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, is it not, is it not gonna do it? Wait a second. Sorry, guys. I thought I was gonna do it. Good. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh. James Davis! Thank you guys. I, well, I thought we were going to do a take two. We're like, no, that's just part of it. <laughs> that's just part of it. <laughs> that's a little, uh, whoa, what was that queued up for? I, it's, it's just a whole lot of them, and I could, I, like, I, I got to make my own little thing because they're too, they're, they're all over the place. Can so. they hear that? Did y'all I, hear that? I hope so. It was it was near the it was okay. near the thing. So we right. and we're working through some new stuff. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's very fluid. It's very fluid. Yeah, James one. Davis is here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. We'll work with that one too. Yeah, it's like it's like a bus of crowd drove by, clapping and clapping. a bus of crowd. Yeah, like they're like yeah. All right, we're gone. A bus of crowd. A bus of crowd. <laughs> Tell them about the fit, man. The fresh, <laughs> freshly. <laughs> Freshly, t- I wanted to be freshly the first, put on the first uh, guest to match the background. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Liquor oh man, I, I, I can already. Because no <laughs> <laughs> you know like, you know it was, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just setting up. The, it's I'm not just... even being used properly. <laughs> I want it to you match. Know, Hilarious. You're going to say something sad. He's going to be like, beer, 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 beer. It's like, man, these I, sound I, effects are off. They're very off. I didn't have time to play with it. Uh, I just downloaded it, and I was like, all right, let's just let's just see what happens. Let's just, here we go with it right now. And that's that's what we did, man. I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah man. You need to have a separate producer who just does that. I really do. You I got really a soundboard do. over there? So we can hook one up. Uh, Rob Hayes does podcasts over here. Yeah. Here? Mm-hmm. What, does he bring it? So, oh, I was so on that y'all show. Behind. Yeah. So y'all behind. Yeah, I guess so. Shout out to Rob Hayes. Yeah. I mean, I you know what I'm saying? That. Listen, man. You, you live and you learn, man. We're yeah. still, we're hey. still adjusting. But listen, that always gives us a room to grow. All right. So the show can only get better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He got through it though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Boy, he was fighting the, through the words. They didn't nail the corporate uh, down. Uh, I kept uh, tripping. Uh, I, I, I've been there before. You're like, brain, say the word. And it's like, what? Uh, uh. But you're saying it, but like, we could see you fighting to say it. I was fighting for my life in that sentence. Y'all don't even know, you man. You jumped by them syllables. Man, the words was coming out fast. I couldn't duck fast enough. I hate it here, Respect. man. Respect. I hate it here. Man. I somehow deleted six months of messaging, guys. So I, I am messaging on what? Uh, Email? uh, emails, yeah. Live six I don't months? even know I have it. Six months of them. Live networking. Uh, I'm ready to do some more all deaf stuff. You know, sign me up. Live networking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, down. Yeah, I actually yeah, wrote yeah, your name yeah, down. Yeah. For, Catch um, your boy. I, I write, <laughs> you know, you know, me, me and Tahir, you saw the magic. <laughs> yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. On now. No, when we did the the the, the food show, one, the food one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, I didn't know you were funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm out here. He were, he's I, I out here. Last yeah. time I talked to you, I there's a nasty window. rumor that like I'm above some some, some stuff that I'm not. You know? <laughs> That's an amazing way to put it. Yeah, there's a nasty rumor a nasty that I'm too good for every. <laughs> that I'm too good for a lot of stuff that I'm actually down and available to do. I think that definitely oh, happens me. once you start. Um, you you had did uh, Real Husbands of Hollywood and a, and a couple of other projects and people was like oh he's out of here yeah it's like, well, real he had a, what are you when was your show though he had a Jason show. yeah Jason Comedy Central mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you know and then I hosted a, a couple MTV ridiculousness spinoffs mm-hmm. so you could see why people would yeah come up with such nasty a nasty rumor, rumor. <laughs> nasty rumor you know that's a cool rumor I would be like how about James oh, we can't afford James we but that's like that, that's a dated belief because mm-hmm. like the internet is more popping than TV now. Oh, easy. Mm. So, easy. So it's like, mm. bro, no, I... I want to yeah. see the numbers of YouTube against, like, streaming on Netflix and Hulu. Because I, I think cable. YouTube is I'd still killing it. There's yeah. YouTube yeah. shows that are more popping <clears throat> than Price is Right. Damn. What you mean? I, just the numbers. Oh. The numbers of daytime TV aren't... Nah, those shows not what aren't used to getting be. two million a, a day. Like, yeah. hmm. general, like your, your third-rate soap opera... Like mm-hmm. their streamers getting more views. I, I heard something that like around ten to twenty thousand views is is good was good for like a premiere on cable. That wasn't like channels two through thirteen, just like a random ca- damn, cable. Ten channel. to twenty thousand. And I was just like, damn, that's a whack YouTube video. Wow. That shit is in yeah, the exactly. Yeah. 
All right, I'm back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it again. That, that one hit. That one I'm hit. I'm back into it. <laughs> I'm on board. Soundboard. Because that is the sound of a whack <laughs> YouTube video. Boy. Yes. <laughs> Boy. It's crazy. Technology is really taking on a, a, a different span on everything, bro. When, when I was in London for the first time and I went with my <clears> mom and people, not, people recognized me from all death, not any of the TV shows I did. Just some great taste, dad jokes, uh, and roast me. Hence, holler's your boy. But, uh, <laughs> they didn't give a shit about Insecure or Brooklyn Nine. They didn't give out none of that, bro. bro. <laughs> they cared about those jokes, man. I remember I, I've been like out in public with people who are on TV, like just getting into YouTube, and we if we would be like with Kev or something, and everybody would go, and I would see them like. I'm on TV though, <laughs> and, then, and then like I've even had conversations with people that are just like, "Oh, I get it now." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I've been like auditioning, auditioning, on auditioning, but I need to be doing both. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, there's there's literally people who work as mm -hmm. actors, but like, you know, if they come into a comedy club or they're just out and about, you know. Like, there's so much TV, but I feel like for internet, you go to what you want. So if mm -hmm. you're a fan That's of somebody on the internet, point. it's like, I came to you. Like, That's a great NBC point. is like, these are the Negroes we like. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, Very take them so. or leave them. But you have to literally, like, but subscribe you have, to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah. You follow me. Point. You know, yeah, exactly. So You are the brand. Yeah. That, that makes you are the brand. Nobody's really like but, walking and, around with a like Lionsgate hoodie unless they work. With it. <laughs> <laughs> and usually, yeah, that's just the crew. Like the cast yeah. doesn't do it. That's it's what just, I'm saying. Yeah. Unless you like work there, you're not just like, yeah, you know, uh, WB Studios. It's like, no, what's your favorite actor? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very that's much facts. Point. Yeah, very man. much facts, man. That's a great point. I got a question for you guys. Oh shit! And it's for. Uh, it's it's causing some debate between uh, significant others. Okay, y'all be fighting, arguing. I mean, what me Just, and my significant other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be arguing with these ladies. Okay, <laughs> I don't have a significant one at the time. You know? <laughs> Just others. Just others. You know, no I'll significant. Be, no, no significant. Just I'd be arguing with general others. <laughs> They're they gonna, they gonna watch this one and they gonna be like, oh, I'm general That's others. That's crazy. I definitely thought we had specified for the season. <laughs> That's crazy. For the season, it's, 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 it's the, the holiday season. season. It's the right holidays, now. the <laughs> holidays, and she can't even get a, a not even like a, a a role or a title. She just others. Well, that's when people find out they're not the significant <sighs> other. Yeah, they're just like hmm. yeah, when you get, when you get that DVD. <laughs> that's a give gift. Me DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound. Slightly yeah, late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's going to get better. He's going to he has, he has get better. He has to enjoy it, process it, <laughs> yeah. right. and then, then look for it. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a heavy yeah. job. It's, it's very low. Actually, guys. that was very fast. We yeah. think of the whole process. Right. I mean, I'm trying to down like that. It's just flawed. This is new. <laughs> Imagine this episode like in the future when he's like, damn, you didn't flush. <laughs> you know, flush down. <laughs> Air horn. <laughs> Flush, flush. That's the uh, one I did buy yet is the air hold. It's like 18 pages. That ain't the pages. first one, it's A. Bro, it's like 18 pages to swipe through, and Damn, each one has like 12 the, on them. The first three squares. It is usually, but it is not on this one, so. All right, well, speaking of arguing, uh, this is the question. It's causing some debacle. If you're dating someone and they accomplish a big goal and you found out via social media and they Ooh. never told you, would you feel some type of way Mm. Or is you feeling some type of way about them not telling you, making things about you? Remember, it's a big accomplishment. Oh. As long as Can it's not marriage. Go, please, it's please. a little bit of both. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, I am going to make it about me because <laughs> it's my feelings. <laughs> if it's not about me, congratulations. But also, like, we not that tight. You know, like, mm -hmm. th that's my whole thing. We not locked in like that if you didn't tell me first. It just depends on how deep you are. Like, yeah. I feel like marriage or, like, very serious relationship mm -hmm. where you guys, if you guys consider yourself a team. Now, some people yeah. just have, like, their little trophy wife, and it's like, you raise the kids, look good, chill over there, do your thing. I get my money. You know what I'm saying? We have kids every once in a while, hang out with every once have in a while. Kids have kids every, every once, once in, a in a while. You know what I'm talking about, though. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. there's, a, there's a, like, we locked in, like, yeah. kind of couples. And so if, if we a locked in kind of couple, and you go into the... So she announced to the gram? Is that what she did? Like, she put it on the internet yes. as opposed to like yeah. having so, the one yeah. on. So you cared about the internet's feedback before my feedback, yeah. which is a little thirsty. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's definitely cloudish. Yeah, that's a little cloudish. And it just shows that, to me, you don't 
You're other. Prior, you, you don't prioritize, you know, I can't think of the word, but this shit. <laughs> 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 Over that social media stuff, right. you know? It kind of shows you where you fall in, ret- in, in, in um, comparison to social media. Like she, yeah. she appreciates the value of multiple people <laughs> congratulating her than her significant other. Now, when yeah. this happened to me, uh, a lot of times it's it's like I will forget, I will forget to tell her, and it'll come up in ca- conversation on um, on a podcast or something. So it's not like me posting about it, mm-hmm. but like I will say something on the podcast. Like, oh man, how'd your wife feel about that? And I'm like, <gasps> I forgot to tell her. Did you set it up? You set that up, huh? What you mean? Like. You found the gasp. No. And then created the story. And then made the story. No, no, no. I would just be like, I forgot to tell my wife about this. Oh, no. Oh, my star. I can tell it's going to have mixed feelings across the board. (laughs) Well, I got to come to the experimental Eric Andre version of this podcast. (laughs) We got to figure out what's what's too much, what's what's just enough. You're 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 a part of some very important data. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we're gonna get it together. Uh, but no, that definitely has happened. I forgot to tell Fran about stuff, and it has come up in conversation, and she'll be right there. She'll be like, "You didn't tell me that." I'm like, I "Honestly, forgot." So it was a forgetting thing. It really it really is a forgetting thing with me. With so much stuff going on, it's not like I purposely yeah. leave her out of conversation. I, I will say the other side of it is sometimes. What is a big accomplishment to the person who's in their feelings about not being spoken to may not be that big of an accomplishment to, to the person who made the post. That's mm-hmm. true. And like that happens to me a lot. Where somebody be like, "You didn't tell me," and I'll be like, "I'm working." Like you know, that's this mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. You know, to you, that's like, "Oh my goodness," to right. me, it, it's work. So I didn't think it was an announceable type of accomplishment. Yeah, definitely, you know? I get that. The more successful, you know, less things are announceable because we've been there. We so done then, that. We made that bad. We made that happen. Well, you know? how would y'all how would y'all like react if it were the opposite? Like they didn't tell you. You said that you you'd be upset, but then you'd still be like, "Good job, though." Yeah, I'm still gonna be. <clears throat> it's, it's about how you approach it. Like if you if you off top, like before you even congratulate, congratulate them, yeah, you're like, yeah. "Oh, so we took a gram with it." <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> then it's hating. We've been together ten years. You've been with the gram, what five? But they get the announcement before me. That's crazy. You know that's what? Crazy. I'm, I'm going to my mama's gram. house tonight. <laughs> like, so you gotta get the. If that's off top, first. then you making it about yourself. But if you're like, "Yo, that's dope. I heard online about your thing. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's you a little still petty. That's sleep. a little petty." <laughs> nah, so yeah, let yeah. me let me reel it back. I wouldn't do that either. You can still drop that. I heard petty, but it's that's how I heard. Yeah, that's how I heard. I mean, it is. Yo, that's so, facts. Hey, so that's dope. That's dope. And then maybe <laughs> later on, you got to let some time pass and just let mm. the congratulations be the priority. Right. But I'm going to spend the block and we're going to have a little small conversation. Oh, yeah. yeah you got yeah, to yeah. later. Hey, hey, you got to. That's weird, yo. Yeah, uh, okay. That's a, I, I can see. There's like a lot of people who are just like, sometimes I don't be wanting to bother them with all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. But I was just like, I don't get it. <sighs> Allergic to bullshit, right? Was that a sneeze? Mm-hmm. If I'm bothered by your accomplishment, I'm a hater. Right. So Very much so. What? I, can't, I can't. You shouldn't be catering right. your moves to haters. That's true. Yeah. Okay. We eliminate the haters. It's a lot of clouds. Sound. Li- oh. Sound should have gone there, right? Flush. Well, that was. <laughs> I mean, it sounded it was, like he was beamed away. Yeah, no, 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 it was it was a it was a lightsaber. Was, but yeah. I was trying to I was trying to get this one and accidentally hit the other one. So that was eliminating the haters. Yeah. Um, Hater the first one actually worked. I don't like the clout <clears throat> that is going on right now. Now I can appreciate like some women coming forward about talking about things, but certain things like uh, whose best friend just came forward and said something. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but it, uh, Jeezy's Jeezy's former best friend. Oh my god! It came through was like, oh Jeezy, what the hell been is cheating this? all of that. It's like, bro, what? what's the reason? I've never seen that level of what hating. is what is the point of that? Like, like that looks from the standpoint of the consumer, like, bro, you thirsty as fuck. It didn't go how he wanted. It, it did. To, it did not go like you how you expected I it know to go. About- I didn't even hear about it, but just the idea. First of all, Jeezy's never repped a friend. Yeah. What do you mean? Jeezy's never been like this, my dog. Right. Like, yeah. like, like so, like for you to come out the woodwork, like oh, Jeezy don't even don't present even a crew. Were you one of the snowmen? Like, Bro. Where, where were you? I mean, maybe. 
Between him and the dude, Will, he, Will, with a, uh, Will, Will, Will Smith's former best hey, friend. But he's a great storyteller. But still, though, what like, say? Bro, what are you wanting to get out he of this? He was like, he was getting it. <laughs> like, that's how he was. <laughs> he, 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 was he was bent over. He was, he was giving it to him. Like, the, like his storytelling is like, you're going to watch the whole video. and then you're gonna I be like, don't it's, it's understand yes. the purpose. Like, it's the Wayne you, you, you may story. stand to get oh, a, okay. a little yeah, money, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Get broke off a little <laughs> something for doing an interview. But ain't nobody <clears throat> gonna give you no real book deal. You That's ain't living wild. in the house. You just a friend, and you you just you are just literally burning this bur- this bridge to the ground. And I think I think it's I just insane. think it's it's, it's disgusting it's, it's in lame. my opinion. It's a little lame. He was like, I could see why you cheated. You have never been loyal to nobody. Nobody. Right. It's like oh. You're making this about you. He tried to make it about like a loyalty thing. Like yeah. he wasn't loyal to me, but he was just it's like, like you don't, it's, what? It's, it's clear you don't get invited to Jeezy's birthday party, right? Or a birthday and party. And it's, I was about the, mo- the money. That that could be the only reason that a person tells all their personal information of somebody that was a former friend. Like, cause if unless it was something so crazy that that friendship isn't salvageable. But to do this, you 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 are guaranteed is no going back after that. It's, it's guaranteed. It's got to be about the money. Nobody's blown up. Morning. I didn't know it was gonna be that, that was long. long. I thought it's it was okay. gonna be. I thought it was gonna be the money machine. It just says money. It just says money. Mm-hmm. I was talking over. Play it again. I don't want to. It was bad. <laughs> I want to hear what I missed when I was talking. <laughs> Give me my money. Yeah. How you get a, a four second clip off? <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta have some real skill to do that. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no one's ever blown up by being the friend who told the story about the celebrity. Only uh, way that can happen is if they did. Tell us, right? Yeah, but if they're but, dead, then they can't refute it. But like, if you're doing it while they are alive, you can get hit with the cease and desist. You can get mm, sued yeah. for defamation. Like, yeah, I don't understand the whole purpose of it. Do y'all have? Any haters in y'all life that might do that in a few years? Like James ain't shit. I knew him back in 2023. I I have I have one person who like he, oh shit. That sounded like a blowjob uh, or or a wet fart. <laughs> yeah, I guess those kind of it was a it was a balloon deflating. But I was just trying to <laughs> lock the phone to move it. It's just. I don't like that one. It's too temperamental, bro. Yeah, that I need was, buttons. Yeah. That touch screen, you can't do phone. nothing. Said, this was a proof it's of over. concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I we don't got the episode. tech right yet. This deep end, you know? <laughs> We're just trying out things. <laughs> trying out new new formulas, new experiments. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Rob, how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just go by the soundboard, bro. I'm just go by the soundboard, because that... Send it back, what man, because we ain't got it right now. We ain't figured it out. It had, the, it. It had the highest re- reviews on, on the app store. So I was like, yeah, this one. Man. Did you just type in soundboard app? I did. <laughs> so that's why you got the up. cheesiest mm-hmm. one. You already know. <laughs> well, still one. got those in-app purchases, baby. <laughs> it's a free free. It's and a good I investment. Had, I had a friend go in the comments of a video where I was talking about my inspiration for dropping reels. Uh, what do you it mean? was I was on Justin Hires' podcast. Mm-hmm. He was asking me like, "What got you to drop in stand up comedy reels?" Oh yeah. And so I was talking about man. I'm talking. I'm getting deep. I'm talking about how like Teddy Ray and and David Arnold passed away, and how you know like we got to do it for the homies who ain't here, mm-hmm. and just being inspired to go hard because you know people passed away young and they don't really have the opportunities that we like stress over. Yeah. And my homie who I'm like not cool with. <laughs> Uh, you told me that you're not cool with it. Cause I, you know, we we're like we we've, we've known each other for a long time, but we're not cool right now. Mm-hmm. But uh, he gonna go, he's gonna go in the comments and be like, "Cap, I talked about this with him." Like, like you he, talked about this with who? The the friend who I'm not cool with. He goes into my comments saying mm-hmm. like, "All I'm lying," and that pretty much he's the reason I was dropping the reel. Oh wow! <laughs> and that I and, and that I said it was frowned upon. And then he goes, "I'll never get my credit." <laughs> I damn near wanted to pin the comment just to be like, look how silly you look. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like, no, that's not true. I heard it was this. It was, no, that's not true. I'm the reason. Cap. And I never get my credit. Luke. And he said it was frowned upon. I'm the one who turned him around. These deaths mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? What? Like, no, the deaths of your close friends, ain't your it? Your colleagues, uh, untimely deaths mean nothing. This was all me. That's. It. I mean, even if you feel that way, that's so, just a wild thing to say. Right. Because what common. do you get from that? Just like, if he was just like, yeah, the homie Richard is the reason why reels. He'd be like, 
I'm about to blow the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on. If you would just tell people about how I told you to post these stand-up reels. I'd be reels, in a better position. <laughs> I'd have my own Tyler <laughs> Perry studio. Walking my blessings. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell everybody about the amazing savings that you can get with ShipStation. Uh, you guys know that I am... <laughs> Went right into that, huh? When I tell you, ain't no segue, ain't no segue. Hey, man, sometimes it is, sometimes, most times it is. <laughs> Through me, I, 98% I, I thought, of the time. I thought you had a supportive, similar, parallel story that you were going to chime in to make me feel seen. It hey, seems difficult. So, hey, listen, I I know, like, hey, man, I'm looking of, at the time, and I'm like, listen, we ain't got no time to waste. <clears throat> we are getting closer and closer to Christmas. People got to get those orders Okay, out, there you go. Okay? I run a small business. Y'all know I'm selling the body butters right now. Uh, they are amazing. It's called Smell Well. You should grab you some. Here's the thing, though. I got to get them to the people. How am I going to do it? Now, yeah, I can go to the post office and stand in that line and write your address down and do all of that. Or I can go with ShipStation, and that's what I'm doing, okay? They make it super easy. It's integratable with any platform that you have your shop on, whether it's Etsy, your own website, or wherever. It's super easy to do. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they brought the wrong size, color, object, whatever, they still have a great experience, all right? Whether you're shopping for your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability. I love ShipStation because everything is right here on my phone, the dashboard of sales, uh, things going out, things that need to go out, who's paid, who needs to pay, who needs extra shipping, whatever, is all done from the convenience of my phone. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. And I'm gonna tell you what, reducing errors and getting getting people their products fast is what keeps you in business. I right? Effortless integration everywhere you sell, as I said. ShipStation <clears throat> manages orders, prints labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. So, listen, if you got a small business, whether you're making jewelry, you're doing body butter, you're doing t-shirts, you're doing uh, earrings, it does not matter. You're going to have to get your product to your customers, all right? ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. And over 130,000 companies that have scaled their e-commerce business with ShipStation, 98% of those companies <clears throat> stuck with ShipStation for a year and became customers for life, all right? The numbers speak for themselves. So, if you guys are in small business, you thinking about starting a small business, you want to do something through the holidays, listen up. Go to ShipStation.com and use the code DIYS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Again, that's ShipStation.com. Use the code DIYS and sign up for your free 60-day trial. You won't get it. Get it done and get it done through ShipStation. All right. Another uh, another, another random transition. Only fans. Oh, mm. You guys dabble? Porn adjacent? Porn adjacent? I mean, it's... If, if, if yeah. you want it to be that. I just <clears throat> logged off of all the accounts, and I, I just canceled the subscription because I was wild. How many did subs- you have? Yeah, you oh, subscribed to many? Oh, man. Probably about nine. Mm. But I subscribed to all of them. I told you, like, with the uh, sign up now and get three months for... You know, twenty four ninety nine or something like that. But Damn. the month is normally twenty five ninety nine or twenty ninety nine, and all them shits ended around the same time. That's a and then that cost? next that <laughs> at the beginning of the month, bro, it was about two hundred sixty dollars came out of my account, Woo! and I was like, okay, let's go here and stop. <clears throat> let's stop this right here. But I was yeah. following some, some expensive pages, jacks, baby. There's a couple of them that I'm thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Just spinning Re-upping. the block on because they they that fire. Do you follow pages of people you know? Uh, I've only done that twice, but I've never looked at that content. It was really just to support them. I know that was easier for me to give them that than like to add for them to ask for money for me, in my opinion. You so. didn't look once? Not more than six times. You went, <laughs> you went to the website, put your information in, it was just like, It's already right, saved. It's already saved to Twitter. Here. It's, 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 it's one click. It's, yeah, man, it was not. It was, it was more like looking like, ah, oh, this is crazy. This you better than me. I, I would definitely have to. This is crazy. <laughs> I would definitely have to peep to see what you look like. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I pay for OnlyFans. Hey, listen, I will say this, though. I, I, I like OnlyFans more than Fansly. Because um, OnlyFans, you can cast that bad boy to the TV, okay? 
Me and the wife, we be peeping our thing. We like what we like, right? What's Fansly? Fansly is like OnlyFans. It just has a little less rules, I would say. There's less lax. rules? It's, it's more laxed. Oh. So, like, with, with OnlyFans, you can only be in there with uh, people who have been approved. Like, oh, this is my partner. I shoot videos with this person, this type of stuff. Otherwise, the person, other person's face has to be covered or something like that. Because they're trying to protect the innocent. Mm -hmm. uh, fans, you fuck whoever. It'd be, it be what is one page I used to follow on fans. They used to have, just have crazy sex parties. But with uh, OnlyFans, they'll take that content down. Really? Or they'll block you. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I, I, I was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that pussy no is a pussy. You know what, I mean? what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? What am, I, am I a fan or am I a fan? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm only a fan, baby. Come on. Something's wrong with James' mic. Thing. I'm over here just leaning and, and, and laughing like a barbershop. <laughs> That's funny. I'm back. Oh, there you go out. It, the, the screen did go black on uh, what you call it, too, but it's back now. Sorry, y'all. We're back. We're back. <laughs> um, okay, so... Two hundred and three hundred dollars isn't crazy compared to what people are dropping. Oh, um, I know what you're about to talk oh about. Oh boy, yeah. let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Ruby Rose. Woo. Ruby Rose. Woo. If I were to pay for OnlyFans, you would pay I, for hers. I don't think. Actually, I don't think she's really doing anything on there, is she? I I don't. I you know what? I gotta look <clears> up. She's who way too she high is. profile to be doing like porn. Ruby and stuff. Rose. Let's um, see. OnlyFans is just ruining. It's it's just giving. It's ruining. Female male dynamics. Which how so? Dating. It's just it's just it's oh. just like they'll be like, no, nah, talk to me on OnlyFans. Million? Or just pay, it's for, like pay for every message. Like you there's just women <coughs> with OnlyFans and subscribers and they're taking that confidence from OnlyFans or from having multiple followers and bringing that into the world like and their human to human interaction, like like less patience, like feeling like you're bringing more to the table. You're more of a prize because you got Men who literally pay to look at your pictures, or men who are liking all your 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 your, your posts don't niggas on the do gram. that too, huh? Don't niggas do that with money and uh, flexing? Yeah, but it's <clears throat> yeah, I guess yeah. yeah. What does Ruby Rose I mean, if do? You, if, if, rapper, she's a rapper. Yeah, because I was looking at the IG and I was like, why why does she have five point one million? I know she's fine, but I didn't fine I just didn't hell. know that she was. Out of all of these pictures, look. Uh, I, I already seen a picture that, that validates the 5.1 to me. Right. See, oh, but so. I'm saying, so I just, you got that one right there. Nope, nope. And then you got. You're going so fast, bro. Like, I'm, gosh, <laughs> are we, are, what are we doing here? This well, I mean, one, but. I don't mind a little, a little out of, Ruby Out break. of 60. I, mean, I, I get it. Out that's of 60 that's 3 million pages. right there. That's 3 million 60. right there. You're like, yeah, yeah. Scroll up. Know, scroll up. I'll, I'll show you another. Okay. I, tell me it, another. It already popped out to me. I was like, yeah, she get, she. That one? Is it that one? Nope. Sheesh. Keep going. Keep okay. Going. This is a great page. That one. That was the one where I was like, yeah. That's, hey, that's the rest of the million. I just posted a video about how much is too much when it comes to ass. Right? That, that's like, not too much. That's not too much for you? No, it's still like... Think that's too much? If no, you think just, that's, no, too much is like... We, you seen too much, bro. Yeah, like, too much. You look like a tooth? Or yeah, like, yeah. Or a roach or like... She's like a capital P. Even if it's like natural and it's just really big, but it just depends on what you like. Yeah, okay. But that wasn't too much for me. That was... Oh, it's uh, a okay. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not mad at little booties though. Like I like that. I That's all I mean. It's like you can get your ass. You can get a, whatever BBL you want. I'm still going over to fuck with little booty though. <laughs> little booties be jiggly too. They do. All you need is the it's the jiggle for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the jiggle for me. It's the jiggle and a little cuppage. A little cuppage, cuppage. goes a long way. As in the long thong. as I can hug you. Put my hands down and, and go scoop under something. something. Yeah, Cuppage. get yeah. a little lippage. If, if it's scoopable, we if it yeah. just If it just goes from the thigh to back it's, mm. and there's nothing to grab, then, you know. Yeah, that's a problem. You lose me. Right. But, that's, that's a problem. If it's but, a little, little tiny butt, you can smack the whole thing with one hand, both right. cheeks. Right. I like if it. If it's soft and not like you you had a good run on a first down, <laughs> you know, slapping your ass. Good hustle, babe. Good hustle. <laughs> so... Ruby Rose is, I mean, she's clearly popping on IG, but apparently she's very popping on OF also. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. She has basically an interaction that went viral because she was like, I ran into my number one OnlyFans spender uh, who sent over $62,000. That's what he looks like. A straight up killer. Yeah. He, 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 yeah. And... Uh, I guess he was like flexing it Cult for leader. her, like, yo, look, I'm, 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 I'm this guy. I, I spent this much. Like, that's what I want to talk about. <clears throat> let's let's go through the interaction, right? You're a weird dude who spent sixty two thousand mm -hmm. dollars on Ruby Rose. Do you think he approached her, uh, like, just absolutely? Yeah. Why would she approach him? Because she, yeah, that's true. That's true. And he, like, what do you what do you say? Hey, I'm. I know you don't know me, but 
I'm one I of your biggest. You. I'm at Horny Beard. I'm I've, I've, <laughs> I'm one of your biggest fans. I've spent sixty two thousand dollars on you. Oh yeah, when you say your biggest fan, she's probably thinking like, oh, you got my albums. He was like, like no, 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 not no, that no, fan. No, no, no. But I'm only a fan. <laughs> right. I'm your biggest only. I'm really your I'm only. Your, fan. I'm your only. Fan. <laughs> I'm your only fan. <laughs> if we want to talk about money, spend, baby girl. I'm your, I'm only, your fan. only fan. <laughs> Show me another motherfucker who spent sixty two. She would be hard pressed, I would think, to find another. But that's you never know because he, he could be you, he could mm-hmm. be one of those people that's like a tech guy that just makes crazy money. So that sixty two thousand ain't nothing to him. Some people and are spending their last on this shit though. Right. I mean on that's just only another fans? way of flexing. That's another that's way of flexing so, it's though. A like flex? Well, I mean, so you, you all right, now how do I get your attention through all of these niggas, all of these rappers, <laughs> all these drug dealers or whatever the type of guy you like? How do I how do I cut through the noise and get your attention? I'm gonna drop fifty thousand on your cash, yeah. on, your fa- on your only fans, and then your your and messages then, are like, oh my god, because they have to be nice, you right? Know? Or or it, or I drop the fifty thousand, but I'm a fan, so I know where you're gonna be at. I'm gonna just pull up in the city. I know you're gonna be performing here. Fuck it, I got money. I can get in wherever you're gonna be in. Mm-hmm. Boom. Oh shit, yo, I know you don't know me, but I'm your only fan. What? What you mean? Mm-hmm. This is me that dropped the. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Now the only thing is, it's no way you don't come off looking like a creep. Uh, there's that's no way only she fans. ran into him. Yeah, yeah he was that's... tracking her. Yeah, it was a targeted attack. Right. <laughs> the man used. To, it, 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 we could probably do a short film about this and all the Mission Impossible technology he used to, to track her down. And I mean, even what you were saying <laughs> about <thing> yeah. uh, <laughs> Ethan, slow down, slow Ethan. Down. I'm coming. I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> Think about the team. The Ethan. mark may not be there for too much longer. <laughs> the mark? That's crazy. He probably had an earpiece in. Yeah, right, right. The ah! ruby is landed. <laughs> the rose is in the, the garden. The rose is blooming. <laughs> oh. And he's like, well, I'm about to pluck that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm about to pluck a rose. <laughs> That's, that was main, my main point is like, I think OnlyFans is making shit more dangerous for women mm. because... Yeah, they get the perks of like having crazy amounts of money, but like the baseline of that money is dudes who are like super, super into them. Like he said, they feel like if they drop a big bag, they'll get either more of a shot at them mm-hmm. or like interaction. And then with that whole messed up mentality of like dudes who go out on dates with girls and spend a certain amount so they feel like they expect or should like deserve pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He might have been on some creepy stuff. Like I dropped 60. 62,000. I, wanna... I deserve at least a hand job. <laughs> Bro. At least, and you got to spit on it a little bit. You ain't 62, That's grab dangerous. it, then grab it again. I need you to massage that in. At least hand job. Like, in the in the picture, is he like, is he like, is she, she's not even touching him, I don't think. She knows what's up. Like, mm-hmm. that's what's, the, I would, she, yeah, like, he, mm. he had to, like, grab the booty real quick. $62,000, I mean, $62,000. $62, I mean, $62, yeah. <coughs> the security they drag him away, he's like, 62 <laughs> 62! 62, baby! 62, Just the number? Bro. I'm 62, baby! 62,000! I'm Mr. 62,000! I think How you treating me like that? Girls who are popping on OF should probably spend that much money on, some, some of that money on security. They that's, said, that's uh, kind of creepy. <laughs> Live my Jeff Light says, just looked at a bro hand on a shirt that says, if I die, delete my browser history. Yep. Yeah. That's, yep. the, that's the type of dude he was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Public like that? Mm-hmm. Must, that's a wild thing to put people on your shirt. People that buy the shirts that people walk by and say, oh, that's funny. Those motherfuckers are different. Because unless, unless you're in New Orleans or like at a porn conference, where the fuck are you going to yeah, wear? Yeah. Come on my face as a guy. And right. not, not 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 be completely creeping everybody what? out. Because but the idea this. of wearing a funny shirt is that people are gonna laugh right. and relate with you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. oh, so right. you're assuming that he's like, hey, come on my face, right? right. <laughs> is there a come on my face shirt? <laughs> I'm sure there is. Oh, New Orleans. Like, what line I, is I'm this? I'm just saying, New Orleans I, yeah, has that everything. Was me yeah, I don't yeah. know what his, what his shirt was, but right. I was like, what's an equally disturbing shirt? <laughs> well, when I was in Mexico, they were trying to, like, they had hats that were like, I love blowjobs and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, who is buying this shit? Right, bro. But people or, or, are buying it. And they think when they're walking in the mall, some dad's going to be like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Same Z's. Like, that was more of a tweet, not, <laughs> yeah. a, not apparel. Likes that. <laughs> 
It'd you be could've... one guy in a group of like a four or five guys that thinks it's gonna be funny. I'm like, oh man, the chicks are gonna dig. The chicks never dig that. The chicks never dig <laughs> that, what that chicks are never... supposed to dig. No, the chicks are never gonna be like, whenever oh, you this say this guy gets it, mm-hmm. chicks dig. It never no. happens, bro. Especially when somebody describes it like that. Like, chicks oh, dig chicks totally love... dig this. It's chicks never dig blowjob shirts. It's <laughs> never true. Because chicks dig blowjobs. It's never, ever, ever, ever chicks true. Chicks dig blowjobs. It never happens like you think it's gonna happen. class men who buy shirts. From yeah. the stands. It's all cat, bro. On the beach. The only thing that <laughs> ended up being true that sounded ridiculous as a kid was um, when we were taught that girls like when you're mean to them. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that seemed... When I was a kid, I was like, that... That doesn't seem real, but now it seems that, very real. That Rings. might have to go in the Bible. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> like I've, I've seen so many proven examples of that. <laughs> on both, it is, on it's both blue sides. It's both, it's both sides, <laughs> but it's also like, it's a little bit mean to them. It's a little bit... They Flirty. can't have what they want. Mm. You being mean is you not submitted yeah. to their every want. So they always want what they can't have. And guys are exactly the same way. Mm-hmm. You, we never want the chick that want us. You never want your old lady that's the house. You want these bitches. That's why the prude girl in high school got all the niggas. <laughs> Yeah, the niggas like I'm gonna get that bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get that little bitch. Name, I, tell you, right? I, I tell you who's not been around. Okay, <laughs> oh scientist Sarah, scientist Sarah. She's like, I'm waiting for marriage. Thirty niggas. <laughs> Everybody just want to smash it down. But it was confusing in school because the hoe also had thirty niggas. So it was just, it was just too much. Yeah, yeah but the, yo, the hoe. This is the thing. The hoe is always the good time, you know. And that's also another funny thing to me. You be seeing these guys getting caught up in these scandals and the chick they get caught up with, and then you see their wife, and be like, oh, I see. I see. You want to have your fun in the streets, but you want safety at home. Right, right, right. Niggas yeah. never be wifing the chicks that look like Ruby, Ruby Rose. No, no offense at all. The point I'm trying to make is that they want the chick that looks safe, mm. but they still want to be in the street with the freaks. Yeah. But it's Every, like, why damn, don't you just... that's deep. Everybody wants their own version of safety. Yeah. Like, women want safety as far as protection, financial protection, and we want safety as in, like, you're not going to be, like, smashing the homies. Yeah. I'm mentally safe in knowing that you're not out here your hair go gray real quick. Just <laughs> worry about every night. Like God damn, somebody, she's too fine. Some one right. of these niggas is gonna fuck her. I, yo, <laughs> one my, of these niggas is gonna succeed. My you rule go where? in college was like she couldn't know how to couldn't know how to braid dudes' hair. She could do chicks, but she couldn't do like <clears throat> French braids to the back. And mm-hmm. she knew how to do like. The Did you ask? Hair. Yeah. Like first date, like what's your uh, braiding? Like? I, I, I'm like, you know how to braid? Like, no, nah, not really. I'm like, all right, cool. Woo. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'll be braiding all the homies here. And I'm like, cool, 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 cool. Did right, a nigga, with, get up out of here. Did a nigga yeah. with cornrows like <laughs> scar you for life or something? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if, she, if he's sitting between her legs and she doing this right here, it ain't nothing for this nigga. Just lean his head over him, like, man, man, so what's up with you and me? When you gonna stop bullshit? Kiss her thigh and all that shit. Now I'm thinking of this. I'm like, no, yo. you can't know how to braid, yo. Thinking hey, one of my patients is gonna kiss her thigh is pretty funny, though. That's such a that's <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's such a specific paranoia. I, like, like, I, I, I feel like locks. this happened already. Yo, I had locks. So I was sitting between <laughs> chicks' legs and I know the move. Nigga. Oh, so you were the guy. I was the nigga. Oh, okay. uh, that's what it is. That that causes just as much paranoia though. <laughs> I gotta look out for niggas like me. I've scarred myself more than anybody else has. <laughs> yeah, you know, for sure. Like, there's most of my trust trust issues come from <laughs> Me judging somebody else, <laughs> like because you know what you would have done. No, like, like, like it was like how, the circumstances that I was there. It'd be like right after Valentine's Day or like just something, just like yeah, something crazy. And yeah. I'm like, I would be heartbroken if this happened to me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This you mean yesterday was your anniversary? You ha- gobbled my dick down to my hip yesterday. What do you mean? Down yesterday to my hip. Your, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. That's a eater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a good time. <laughs> Down to the hip. That's to the side. <laughs> hey, listen, I am all about good. If nothing else, I'm about a good time, which is why I always use game time, all right? Go. Game time is the only place you should be going for your ticket buying experience, all right? When you buy tickets to shows, you buy them to concerts, you buy them to. Sporting events, it shouldn't be filled with anxiety. It shouldn't be filled with frustration. For those that didn't get a chance to see Usher, I apologize. And for those that did, if you didn't go to game time, I apologize even more because game time is the latest when it comes to ease, convenience, and technology. They make it super 
easy. So you shouldn't have to worry about all the other stuff that these these some of these sites are putting on you. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sporting, music, comedy, and theater events near you with killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat. Now I'm gonna just jump in real quick. If you pick your phone up and you go to the the seat you want to sit in and you're looking on the game time app a website, and you hold the phone like this, it's augmented reality, so it's going to let you see what it looks like real time from your seat. So you get to see how close you are to the stage, what the view is like of the stage from your seat, all of that on game time. No one else is doing that, so shout out to them for them. <clears throat> you also get their best price guarantee. Game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets, all right? I love it. Browse through the app. See how easy it is. They have last-minute tickets, flash deals, uh, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area, uh, and the lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, job loss protection, etc. cetera. Um, I love the fact that All In Price shows you your total up front, so you know exactly what you're getting a great deal uh, from checkout until you get the, per the, the tickets emailed to you. Um, it's just super easy, man. I love when stuff works exactly how it's supposed to work. When it works like it says it's going to work or even exceeds my expectations, I'm all in. And I, that's how my experience was when I bought my Masego tickets on game time. Took the family there. We had a fantastic time. We got a surprise because Tony <clears throat> Baker was opening up for Masego. It was a fan fantastic time. So I like things that work how they're supposed to work. I like when it's easy. I ain't got to do all no crazy stuff. And I want you guys to enjoy this and take part in it as well. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code DIYS for $20 off your first purchase. Now, terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem the code DIYS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Oh, boys. Um, you guys like Ari Lennox? I do. I'm a big fan. I'm going to be honest. Real quick story. I feel like she she gave me the look one time, man. Really? Yeah, backstage, two, uh, 2000, like, mm, <clears throat> 21, 22. Okay. I was I was writing for the Soul Train Awards. Mm -hmm. EJ, you know, you know, you know. We back. She's getting. She got her whole team around her, and they 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 patting her down, and mm -hmm. she was looking incredible. And I just, I was I, as well. You know, <laughs> I had the black turtleneck on with the, yeah. with, with the with the black varsity jacket. You know what I'm okay. saying? Chain, okay. Okay. Chain hanging. Let's you know go. I mean? You know what I'm saying? I might even That's, have to goes undefeated on undefeated. nigga outfits. Undefeated oh, nigga outfit. Chain? Yeah, come on now. <laughs> and I mean, I, I I felt I felt the vibe, and she was looking at me. You know what I'm saying? How I long said, she look at you? Uh, at least like two point two seconds. That's cool. Yeah, I mean it's a look. That's enough to tell Maybe, somebody about it. Yeah, three <laughs> seconds. Maybe even three. You don't need a whole lot when <clears throat> you know what it is. What it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? mean? And maybe I just was feeling so confident in myself. I was like, she must. <laughs> what be. if she was like, hmm, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish she would get out of my way so I could see that thing behind you her. Were her. <laughs> you just leave that part out. Yeah, I was in her way. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was standing... <laughs> that would be the worst <laughs> yeah. thing to find oh, yeah, out. I was in the women's bathroom. I mean, I was standing in front of the monitors, but. <laughs> <laughs> She was staring at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted it. Yeah, I like Ori Lennox. She's dope. Um, she's also very sarcastic because mm -hmm. uh, somebody threw water, mm. like a water bottle at her on stage, and she freaked out. She was like, I'll fuck you up, stuff like that. Very cool side nice. of her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at her next show, she came out with a full baseball helmet <laughs> and performed the whole time like that, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> But it kind of like makes me think like, well, I hate this. I hate this new trend of like just throwing stuff at, yeah. at concerts. It's gonna ruin yeah. it for everybody. And I and I don't know why the venues aren't. Uh, yeah, like, like why? Why are people doing that? Stepping in. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why the people aren't doing it. But I'm never surprised at people. It's like why aren't the why isn't the venue like how is, this has happened so much? They gonna end up performing like the Pope be riding around in that car in that glass box. <laughs> they ain't gonna be they gonna have to do all the choreography from the inside of this box because y'all don't know how to act, act man. Do you guys worry about that on stage? I feel like security... Sorry, guys, it's hot. No, uh, they got there. I felt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like security is lax in all in all realms. Mm -hmm. Like, when I'm doing stand-up, like, and I'm like, if I'm going back and forth with someone in the audience, like, I... I don't feel like I have backup, per mm -hmm. se. Like, I feel like I... It's on me. I mm -hmm. feel like the security should be up and moving once I've engaged with this person two to three times. Yeah. And they don't show any signs of letting up. <clears throat> they need to be there on site waiting for me to give them the yay or the nay. Because you're risking the opportunity for it to um, 
increasingly get more violent in tone and nature. Mm-hmm. And now you're like, oh, okay. You, 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 now you're fighting when it's going downhill. You could have caught it before it hit it down there. Yeah. So I don't like that the fact that they don't do that. But they do it with big names sometimes. Yeah. And somebody's yeah. talking about DL's up there. They put them out. DL like, no, nah, it's cool. Let them stay. But like mm. when it's us, and like we're yeah. still up and coming, we don't get the same respect. They'd be waiting, like maybe it could turn around and be funny. Like, bro, we're cussing each other out right now. Yeah. The uh, okay, I just told him to eat my dick. Yeah, it, ain't, like, it ain't coming back from there. You can feel the energy when a comic is like, all right, I'm done with the jokes now. Like, mm-hmm. I'm talking to you like as a man. Like, mm-hmm. like shut up. Like, yeah. like right. I was in the show in, in, in Brooklyn, and I was crowd working with these two, these two women, and I guess. This dude behind him felt he was like, "Hey, yo, man, move on and do your jokes." I was like, "Huh, bro, this is my jokes. <laughs> I'm crowd working, okay? I don't know what secret bodyguard you are, or whatever." <laughs> and so I talked to him, and then he was like, "Who, who are you talking to, wherever?" And he just like started going back and forth to me, and then it got to a point where like comedian just turned off, and I was like, "What you like? We're literally talking back and forth." Yeah. Like I called him everything but a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> like, and, and so security walks over, and I'm <clears throat> I'm like at the edge of the stage it's a smaller club he's right there and we're like literally whooping at each other and security is standing next to him not like telling him to shut up or move right. him just standing mm-hmm. next to him like if it goes beyond this he'll clock in I'm like yeah. this is this when is you it. clock in yeah, bro. Right? we aren't this is not crowd work like we're about to fight like I literally just had to walk out of the comedy club because I it reached a point where it was like the only thing left to do is fight right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to fight you. And mm-hmm. this, I have nobody to have my back. Right. So. so then how do you, because I feel like that's a, it's an interesting thing going on right now since it's like super popular to uh, upload crowd work on social media because it's just do, going crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, you know, in the, in the, in the comedy in the realm zeitgeist. of comedy, yeah. In certain um, ethnicity categories. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but when I said what I said. When you No, no, as, I, I, as, I see as what vaguely, you mean. As vaguely as I said it, I see, what, felt I see it. what you're saying. Um it seems like there's Still opportunity to have a good time with hecklers, mm-hmm. you know, because it, it can flip. But there, it, there is that moment where it's like, okay, they're doing too much, especially when the crowd starts being like, shut yeah. up. Mm-hmm. So at what point are you like, my set is ruined? Because if you go too hard, I'm assuming that back and forth ruined your set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it was gonna, it was gonna be hard to <clears throat> return, but I could have done it. But it was more of like the energy has not. That's what I'm thinking. Still ha- here, like uh. I, I'm not gonna keep telling jokes, and I want to beat this, and I, I want to fight this dude right here. Yeah, right. Like, but if he was to be, if he was to be removed, mm-hmm. uh, or or sat down and you know told like, hey, bro, like whatever, then I can reset, mm-hmm. make fun of that awkward situation, and mm-hmm. get back to my jokes. But hmm. yeah, like it's hard, it seems hard to, to turn around. Yeah, it is definitely hard to do. Uh, I don't know. It, that's when the professional has to kick in. You have to like. You know, just power through, do the reset, like you said, and be like, that shit was crazy. Man, were you going to help? Like, whatever it is to get people mm-hmm. back on your side and get them right. back laughing. Were you going to help? Because you look like you, I saw you move <clears throat> your glasses aside. I was like, ah, right, she, at least she got my back. Yeah, yeah. Get some jokes on because if you try to go right back into it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the crazy thing. Crowd work got you here, usually. But that you got to get them back with crowd work. Because if you go right back into jokes, that's mm-hmm. not easing it to it. Yeah. You can't cannonball that situation. You got to literally, like, manifest it and mature yeah. it, or massage it a little bit, and then get into it. Because it's, it's, it's literally an art form, bro. And people will know that you're masking your true yeah. feelings right now. So you yeah. gotta you gotta be real with them and, and, and get them back on your side. But I think I think there's 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 heckling where it's like, okay, you're drunk, mm-hmm. you think you're as funny as me and you're trying to say funny stuff. Um or like you want to be a part of the show. It's your right. birthday maybe oh. or it's a bachelor. And for <clears> things <throat> like that, it's like that's one. But then when it's somebody just who's just like, man, fuck you or right. like just like imme- like Intentionally trying to like throw off your set or just mm-hmm. being disrespectful, that's when it's like kick them out. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't have no patience for you if you just really just on some right. mean spirited. Yeah, if you're mean spirited, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it worse. Yeah, <clears throat> I fuck you up. You are not my type. Okay, <laughs> I want you to simmer down. <laughs> not even taking me out to dinner or drinks. You just gonna fuck me? Nah, you're not gonna do. It. And I'm gonna get you pissed to the point where they gonna they gonna they gonna want to get you. They gonna want to put you out because mm-hmm. you're gonna cause mm-hmm. such a disruption. Like you start knocking over drinks and shit to get up, like. 
now you've done it for me. Yeah. And you look like a person that needs to be kicked out and the people around you. So you're not only ruining it for you and the rest right. of the audience member, but now you're, you're, the people that you with may be banned too. That's mm-hmm. what I do a lot of times. I'll point out to the person who's heckling and, and the audience will chime in. I'll be like, you know no one is enjoying this. Right. right? Like you're not winning. Like as you talk, you're not winning more friends and fans. I was like, like may, I'll be like, make some noise if this guy is annoying you or you want him to stop. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm turning see, it's not, it's not working. It's mm-hmm. not just me. Nobody likes you. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not just me. No one likes this. I saw this guy pull his phone out. He just, he just unfollowed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting, it's getting real. Have you guys seen like an influx in people doing that since the Will Smith Chris Rock situation? Like. Because I feel like after that, I don't think every anybody was like, I'm going to get on stage. But a lot of comedians did start talking about it. Like, mm-hmm. if you come on this stage, you're going to get your ass whooped. Shit like that. Which I feel like I have started little, seeing more clips like of people that. going on stage, you know? Oh, so after that happened? Like, did that kind of put something in the air? Or were people kind of always doing that? <clears throat> I didn't see a lot of that. I saw more people talk about it and make jokes about it than people actually yeah. doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate when people say like, "Don't don't come to the stage." Like, has anybody ever come to you come on stage before? Like, like what jokes are you? What, I've seen yourself. What joke you gonna tell? They gonna get somebody so riled up. They gonna come on stage. Oh, because they're just not controversial. You're not like him that. like that. Man, ain't nobody gonna come You're rush not you. Empathy. Yeah. Calm down. Or like when or jokes be, comedians be like, "Oh, I don't want to get canceled." Like you have to be at a certain level to be canceled. <laughs> That's hilarious. People don't really know that. How People can are... someone cancel someone who doesn't have anything going? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just questions wild. we don't oh, ask. Stink, but what's wrong? <laughs> Oh, uh, Stink, you thought you could get canceled, Stink? You can't get canceled. Damn. Aww. That's, that's why I, I felt like I started seeing more people like doing the on the stage shit. Um, who was Somebody said it was assault, and who wasn't? But uh, Somebody rushed DC Young Fly. There's not video of it, really, but... He whipped the ass. That, yeah, that was at Tommy the, T's. Yeah. Then there was this dude in uh, South Carolina. At, Steve uh, Brown. Con- Steve, yeah, they I saw that. Steve Brown. Do y'all know this, the reasons why? The dude in the <laughs> audience at DC was talking shit. Mm-hmm. And DC was like, hey, bro, these jokes don't mean shit. Don't get your ass beat. Mm-hmm. And then DC, he put the mic down, squared up, put the jeans up. You know how that go. And that was it. With Steve Brown, it was a guy that was going back and forth with me on stage. And then a homie walked around. Steve Brown gave that mic stand and, and hit that nigga with that mic oh, stand. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, that was that was years ago. So, like, it, it happens I randomly. Kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't know what he got on him? Motherfuckers don't really be checking him at these comedy right. clubs like that. No. Yeah. So this motherfucker could come up. Dog, just a, 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 a popular comedy club out here. One of the main ones. Mm-hmm. A guy was belligerent and drunk and shit like that, and they asked him to leave because he was cussing people out. This motherfucker pulled out a gun there. Uh, now, on the comedian? Shoot. Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, no, nah, this was, this was a, 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 a crowd <laughs> goer. He just pulled out that thing, and they had security. Damn. Security, With the wine and shit. And security didn't do nothing. Oh, you saying they had security out, outside? Yeah, they, they were checking people as they were coming in. Yeah, man. Do they have motherfuck- guns? No. The, the, the comedy club security be so... Nigga... You, I've, I've been to clubs where the so security Paul was Bart. other comedians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. They just need they just need bodies to say That's stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like the security is not that is not taking that serious. I remember Damn. I was in Cleveland and I told a security person, "Hey, can you tell that table um, they're talking loud? Like, can they like?" You were on stage. This, it was before I got on uh-huh. stage. And she was like, "It's gonna be all right." I'm like, "That's oh! wild." Ah! And then she was like, you're, "She said you're not even on stage yet." I was like, "I know. That's why I'm asking you to get ahead of it." Yeah. Right. And she got, and she literally just went back and forth and got attitude with me. And literally, I was just like, that's, I'm saying like they, it was just a prime example of like, when it comes to security or comedy club police, off duty people, like, they, they, were they loud during your set? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You know, I I had to handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, damn. And so, like, oh, no, no, this is what she did. This little, Oh, bitch. <laughs> she went over there and was like, that comedian said oh, that y'all didn't know. Wow. So she tried to put up, she tried to like make me look like some, some male She's still trying to be their that, yeah, that friend. Yeah. going on. So I was just like, wow. Wow. So That's yeah, insane. She, she got cussed out with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she was a black woman. I couldn't. I couldn't. You I couldn't, couldn't bring yourself. I, to I it. couldn't bring myself to you call, call her, her name. And but, stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah. ooh, I got the eyes. I cut her with my eyes. <laughs> That's insane. I feel like that's that's that yeah, that is dangerous, especially if they got something on them, but also like you can't really 
finish the set if you lose the fight. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I'm glad DC won. If a comic gets rushed and they lose the fight, yeah, that would probably be funnier to turn around. But still, that's like, god damn, that's a that's a decision. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just be yeah. like, that's my, that's wait, my wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're at a comedy show, right? Mm-hmm. We're at a comedy mm-hmm. show. And it's, uh, who's a, just well, a general comedian <clears throat> that we know mm-hmm. is in that DC Young Fly situation. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, man, it's, this ain't jokes no more. This is real? Huh? Are you making this up? This is a, it's a hypothetical. Okay. Just trying to see where we're at in life. Mm-hmm. So, so a DC Young Fly type comedian we know goes mm-hmm. to the same situation and he loses the fight. Or, mm-hmm. he's, or he's losing. Mm-hmm. And we're comedians and we're mm-hmm. in the comedy club. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna help? That makes sense. To help? No. no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to break it up. There you go. I don't know if I would help because it depends. So you're, not gonna, you're not gonna attack the other yeah, person. It, 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 dep- it depends on how it wh- got there. How it got there. Mm-hmm. And then also, too, like, because I also have to think about it from my standpoint, like, jumping him now puts me at risk of getting banned from the club, too. Right, right, right. Right? This is all on stage, by the way. Right, it's all on stage. So, like, now it's like, oh, here goes this random it's, it's guy running over. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so, I, I would I would try my best to break it up. I, as I'm going to the stage, I'm a security nigga, can we? Yeah. And then Come I'm with gonna, me. Gonna yeah. <laughs> Cause if he hit me, then I gotta I gotta well, jump in. If, at he, that if, point. He, if he get went off, if he get one, he get one off. He get one off. He I just got, swing I got it at get, every funny person nah, in the room. I gotta get my lick back at this point. <laughs> yeah, this nigga be it's over my to ass. here. We got him. No, no, we ain't got uh, him. Yet. If he if he be my ass, okay, this nigga's him. You going up after that? Yeah, oh, wow, I'm out. I'm Are you out. going up after? I'm pressing charges. He got one on you. He got. I'm pressing charges on the club for not having a safe work environment. The security guards. Wouldn't that be your first viral like clip on still? Like I didn't want. It like this, <laughs> I would just switch lanes. I'm like, who wants to knock me out today? I'm yeah. gonna be in San Francisco. That's, Anybody that's else want to get crowd <laughs> work? Anybody. They can be like, yeah, that's that's real crowd work, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I got crowd work. <laughs> it's to hear eyes in his black eye with a new date. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be in uh, D- Daniel Beach Improv, which is so crazy because we continue to chase this dream, man. Wow. We are. Something is wrong with comedians. We 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 really Agreed. are operating on a different level of faith and hope and drive because we are not like singers who have or, or rappers who might have a dope beat or a dope melody to get the people already engaged or a song that has already been a a, a, a chart topper where the crowd is already familiar. We have to go up there and do a new set in front of new people that we is we're not. Right, singers can sing. Singers can sing old songs and Be- somebody else's and somebody song. Somebody else's song. I was at the Soul Train Awards this year too. I, I'm at a lot of Soul Train Awards, and <laughs> the love these R&B singers were given. Yeah, getting they they just singing and you know they they get to unbutton all their buttons. And- <laughs> you can too. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Singers, I mean, comedians cannot be too sexy, bro. You can't be too sexy. You can't be too buff. All right? It looks weird. It, it looks weird on stage. What about You're tall? Already, huh? You can be tall. You can be tall because you can make tall look goofy. Mm. You, you can make go- tall you funny. Be goofy. Who's the you buffest Will's, comedian? Will's, Will Ferrell is tall. Is He's it? like 6'4", I think. Hmm. He's tall. Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn is tall. Will Ferrell's 6'4"? <laughs> Some round there. Nico lost all faith <laughs> in a fact he didn't even have to say in the first place. <laughs> He's 6'3. He's 6'3. 6'3. Okay, okay. Six, three. okay. Six, three. okay, okay. Hey, six, I didn't but, you know, you saw me lose <laughs> all the faith, though. <laughs> so I, was I like, missed the face. <laughs> what did you say? No, he, he, he looked at me like, he's 6'4, and I was like, <laughs> I was just impressed. I wasn't even trying to check you like that. And I was like, <laughs> okay. I can't buy into this like that. <laughs> when you realize, oh, I think I made that up. I might have been talking. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I might have been talking a little bit out my ass. That's, that's just a what little comedy bit. does, though, man. Bit. You you <laughs> push through all of those barriers, man, and it's it's a, it's a very lonely game too. It's 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 one of those games where now it feels a lot more collaborative, and now it feels a lot more open and inviting with <laughs> our class and social media and. and like I see one of my homies doing a show in another city, and then it don't it don't affect me at all to help them and throw that in my stories. You know what I'm saying? And Is that said, right? Yeah, I do that all the time. I do it with Keon. I do it with Tony. I do it with Keenan. Like anytime I see somebody, James? 
If I see James, I absolutely still throw James stuff up there. <laughs> How you gonna throw the examples and just leave? Hey, me listen, out? I said, <laughs> and when I see it, because I haven't seen yours, but I'm, I was listening to the damn, ones that I have done. Algorithm. Hey, listen, I it's, saw the one when you was on stage. You was going with the chick about uh, the shampoo. I think you said something about Perp Plus or something like that. It was the white girls. Are, so I, I, when I see the video, that wasn't me. That was you. You were talking to. I two. ain't got no clue this, about no shampoo. And all you were shit. in New York. You were performing in New York, and it was two white girls you were talking to. You were talking about their shampoo regimen or something like that. Maybe. It, well, no, no, no I that remember. sounds a little believable. It's very, yeah. it's a very, long, it's a real from very long ago. You just throwing shit you're not sure of. Yeah, you just there. throwing it up. You right was there. Me. I it ain't was got you. No joke you was like in New that. York. It was, it was people in the crowd. You were saying something you had clever. On a striped shirt. That yeah. That helps. I, 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 no. Go look, go, go, go look through your phone to find it. I ain't got no striped shirts. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Well, anyway, oh, if it was crowd work, it was probably freestyle then, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I will say this though. Even though it gets lonely, we still press through. But it does get lonely. And I want to let you stop right now and let you know that this uh, this show is sponsored in part by BetterHelp. And BetterHelp is definitely someone that you should reach out to when you are lonely and when you do need some help, when you do feel alone. You don't have to wait until things are going wrong to reach out to BetterHelp. Okay, BetterHelp can talk to you at any point in your life. If you've been thinking about trying out therapy, this is the time to do it, especially with BetterHelp because it was designed to be convenient. Okay, it was designed to be flexible, to uh, be suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists for any time, I mean, at any time for any reason with no additional charge. I've done traditional therapy. I've been to the offices. I've waited in the waiting room, and I'm sat down with a therapist that it took me three months to, to get with after signing up, and that therapist didn't hit. We tried it for a month. It wasn't working. I had to wait an additional three months to get a new therapist. And when I did change, it cost $150, even with my insurance provider. So the fact that I can switch at any time for, for any reason and they're not going to charge me is outstanding. The fact that there's flexible and I can talk via the phone, I can talk um, uh, through video chat, whatever it may be, is amazing to me. Because sometimes I don't always have time to sit down and, 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 and set up the whole lights and all that. Sometimes I just need to be on the phone. So I appreciate that they are able to work with you in any type of way. Uh, if you're thinking about trying it, thinking about giving therapy a try, I encourage you to do it. In the session, uh, since we're in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DIYS today to get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P, help.com slash DIYS. Try it today. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> all right, last thing about the uh, the the storming of the stage. Um, do you guys think, because you, you, you made a funny point that R&B singers get to sing old songs and other people's songs. Do you think, not comedians, mm. but the world would, ex would accept a cover comedian? <laughs> <laughs> like if somebody did your set and like some of your set, some right, of watch, watch this come back. The world already has. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got specials on Netflix right now. <laughs> some some of some of the most popular comedians Ooh. online are cover comedians. Really? <laughs> That's all I gotta say, man. I, Shit. I don't be getting the inside soon, jokes, but I get the edge up, of them. I was like, let me let me drop my little bitter. <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> said, watch a this. Nugget for you. As soon as you said, watch this, I was like, oh. My. But no, I mean, set it up. But that's the thing; they don't know it's a cover, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like, no, I'm saying like, yeah, yeah. out there because I mean, I like, would watch a TV. I would. I think that'd be a dope TV show, honestly. Hmm. Like, like if you had the world's first ce celebrities or people or random people, and they're just like they're gonna do Martin Lawrence's set from Def Comedy Jam. They're gonna do five minutes from Killing Them Softly. And just like their they're, take on it. Their take on well, because here's the thing: like, say you have <clears throat> Jennifer Aniston doing five minutes from Killing Them Softly. Okay, well that's that's funny, right? Okay. Even even if she's not good at it, right? Because we the know reference. the joke, or if they're mm -hmm. doing like. If they just have to do famous stuff, like a famous Kevin Hart bit where he's talking about his leg swing or his kids. Or... I mean, a comedian, like, no, no, that's not... touring, <laughs> straight up, just like, and I'm about do to a do Eddie Murphy. about a comedian that's taking the jokes of dead comedians and doesn't think anyone knows. Oh, shit. People would know that immediately. I mean, you you think so, but it was like a it was a YouTuber O'Neal? that did it. No, that no, but did it with thing, Patrice O'Neill. They'd only know they'd only know the the popular dead comedians. Oh, uh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Like like sadly, sadly, <clears throat> yeah. And and in three more years, if somebody starts doing Jack Knight's material or Teddy Ray's material, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, we gonna know immediately. We as in oh, we were the crowd yeah, yeah, right, yeah. messes with them. Damn. Yeah, but the greater internet. <laughs> yeah, I that's mean, true. Li- listen, not to not to shade, old girl, but there's there's a video that's approaching a million views on on online right now of a real being like, I just figured out I'm not hood, I'm hood adjacent. Oh shit. A whole video. People mm-hmm. in the comments like, there's a comedian who, but like literally, like she had no clue. She hadn't seen my show. Like I'm not shading her. She had, yeah. she doesn't know. She doesn't know about me. Mm-hmm. But like she literally was like, I discovered hood adjacent, and people were like, girl, I feel you. Me too. Da-da-da-da-da. That's crazy. I feel seen, and it's like that's crazy because in 2017, right? <laughs> it's a minute ago. The reason I bring it up had is- a whole <clears throat> show. Yeah, I disagree. I think I think the world. Would accept it, fully, and I. I mean, I feel like if you like, if you appreciate the art like we do, it would be horrifying. But if you think about how things are, like with TikTok, who created it doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like people are literally like are meeting up with their friends. They'll be like, "All right, what skit y'all want to do? This and, one." And they'll look at a skit and yeah, be like, we'll and then do they'll, that skit. they'll oh put yeah, it they up. just redo it. Yeah, and they might be like, it used to say, um, they used to put IB. And then an at if you were yeah. lucky, which is inspired by. Mm-hmm. But then that just went out the window. And oh you, man, it's it's great. <clears throat> it don't matter. And I and I, I always hated that too. Inspired mm-hmm. by, copied from. <laughs> inspired is crazy. <laughs> copied from. Inspired. You did is not. A wild you did not choice. flip it at all. <laughs> it's not at all. At all. And I've seen it so much now that where like it's it's either that like thirty people doing the same sketch or blue freaks and Krishan. and I'm just like I. I go on Instagram, I post my video, I come back within 30 minutes to see how it's doing, engage with the comments, and then I'm, I'm mm-hmm. gone. And I don't even want to look at booty things, but at least booty things will <laughs> take me out of that realm. Yeah. Because it's just the booty same thing. Nah. Thing. They'll be like, all right, my podcast is dang, the internet is fearful. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole business model? Inspired by. Inspired by. by. <laughs> the thing I copied. It's crazy because people will hide behind words like trend or challenge and they'll just be like, it's a trend, it's a challenge. And then that makes it like cool to be like, all right, we're just going to do it too, as opposed to being the only <laughs> one. That's the new way to steal shit. You yeah. stole my shit. No, it's a challenge, It's bro. a challenge. <laughs> I, I'm, I turned that into a challenge. <laughs> it's a funny challenge. Because I think that's what happens with the dance videos. Yep. Like one person will just kill it to a song. They'll be like, I want to do that too. Challenge. Mm-hmm. And, and then like, that person will blow yeah. the hell up mm-hmm. and not even mention where not they got it from. Not even mention where they got it from. Like I remember that happened to like a little black girl yeah. uh, not too long ago. And then the white girl who, I mean, it, it wasn't really about it being black and white. It was about who did it and who didn't. But that was a big, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, we can't we can't help but feel that part of it. Um, but yeah, I think the, the girl who did it after blew up. She was... At basketball games, doing Man. the same dance and all that kind of stuff, and I, I, I don't think she ever mentioned the black girl until the internet got upset about it, and then you know, the you internet, know what's crazy internet though? What's crazy? My Baraka Flocka video was de- based on the challenge, actually, not a challenge. It was a trend. All these hood rappers were remixing that hard in the paint. Song. Mm-hmm. Really? So had I not, oh yeah, that's right. Had I not seen Tyga do a remix, but you did a funny flip. But I did a funny flip. Right. But it, but it <clears throat> was inspired by mm-hmm. a bunch of other people doing their own remix to Hard in the Paint. But so that's like that I is wish kind it of was part. like that though, because you're saying like I I it saw was something actually inspired and yeah. flipped it and made something different. Right. Made I didn't different. just I, I didn't yeah. do a regular rap. In my neighborhood, that's literally yeah. like you. If you just re-recorded "Hard in the Paint," that's basically what TikTok is now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, this is inspired it was by a whole Waka video Flocka. shoot. Yeah. It was it was them uh, in in costume and makeup at the limousine. Had the homie Dion rapping Wack. on it. Yo, D I O. Yeah, and Mark Harley. It was crazy. Really? Mark, I gotta watch it again. Yeah, Mark Harley was a, a Secret Service person. Yeah. What was the What was the I don't I don't know if this is when I met you, but what was the sequel we shot at Three YouTube? Three P with Norm with Thump Nixon. <laughs> That's right. When for the yeah, reelection? Yes, yes. Damn. Three P. <laughs> Honestly, bro, all those songs go hard. I even like Three P went hard. That mm-hmm. was a that like was go watch Baraka Flocka Three P. That was a that was a dope ass video. I gotta watch it again. I miss we, YouTube, cause, man. Because it was like we had it in one location for the most part. Yep. Well, we really, we really like that's just lit. Were yeah. you there? No, I wasn't there. Because people like, like pulled up. Yeah, it's like, like a bunch of people. Like, right, it's lit. It was a good time. Man. Yeah, that place. I think that place is closed now. That shit well. sucked. That shit was fun. Mm-hmm. Was up there doing skits all the time. All right. How much time we got? Uh, it's about it's about that time. About that time. Yeah, yeah. We started a little late. Started a little. 
That's wild, bro. Y'all gotta get y'all shit together. <laughs> we ain't gonna snitch. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't no snitches here. You know what I'm saying? Have me coming in here at 2.45. <laughs> no, knowing the email should have said 2.30. Y'all messed up the call sheet. <laughs> Somebody messed up yeah, the call we'll, sheet. We'll, we'll take it. We'll Didn't take it. give me it. no traffic warnings. <laughs> <laughs> You Traffic gotta, warnings. You got to send me a, a Google Maps preview. <laughs> so, James, you got anything coming up you want to let the people to know to look out for? Anything you want to put them on high alert for? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm just I'm just trying to move stronger into this internet space myself, man. So just mm-hmm. anything with the name James Davis on it, we definitely going to do some golf stuff. We're going to do mm-hmm, golfing mm-hmm, with the homies, mm-hmm, with the here. We already... Oh, he's big into You golf. see, I, 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 he's like big. Authentic. He don't know. Nah, he don't know, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, You've been out here on the golf too. I've been on the golf, but you I'm, was doing it before it became cool. But I'm about to like become like a big golf influencer. Like it's time. Yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've been seeing people get like some cool little brand deals from yeah, golf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I need that back. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And but just yeah, all the internet, all the clips, mm-hmm. uh, and, and just support. Uh, yeah, go on YouTube, watch all the the uh, the Don't Tell special, the Comedy Central special. Hell yeah. Chaka Sunday's clips, and then you know hey some big, big stuff on the way, but nothing to announce yet. That's all right. right. Well, there you go. Let's you want to get him with the handle? Oh, yeah. At the James Davis, two E's. T H E E James Davis on uh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, on TikTok is the James Davis three. IG, the James Davis by itself. And then uh, YouTube, just YouTube James Davis. Was there already a James Davis? For YouTube? For all the ones that had the. <laughs> no, I just fell in love with the the. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> James Davis has always been a very common name. Ah. So I just, um, I You're assume, the, yeah, yeah. I assume that it was taken anyway. You know? There it is. Well, listen, man, as <clears> always, <throat> ladies and gentlemen, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey, we'll hey. see you next week, guys. Bye, Peace. y'all.